dirt! So by now, if you've listened to me speak, you know that have a lot of opinions and I'm also maybe a fucked up dude that's possible maybe I'm just not so you also know that I am a little down on humanity and that's really sad because that's all we have really is our humanity but as we go through time and as technology evolves, and as I get older, I start to realize how clueless the human race is. Yeah, I said it, clueless. We don't give a shit. Maybe it's not cluelessness. Maybe it's selfishness. Probably a combination of the, of, of the two. <laughs> but we don't really care about anything outside of our own little tiny bubble. Even if everything outside of our little bubble is being hurt by our thoughts and our feelings and our actions, we don't really care because that's outside of our bubble. Not in our tribe, not in our backyard. Charity begins at home. So, I'm just, I'm a little, I'm saddened really, I'm depressed. If someone says to me, why are you so depressed? Basically, I say because humanity has failed us. There's a lot of things that don't make sense. And it's good that we question those things. <laughs> we should question things when they don't make sense, right? One of the things that I find to be almost humorously stupid is with this COVID virus that they open up the restaurants, which is good. I love going to restaurants. I'm glad they opened them. But the rules and the procedures are pretty pathetic when you think about it. So, I'll give you an example, and you already know this. I'm not saying anything new. I wanna to go to the restaurant, but I have to wear my mask before I can walk through the door. I can't walk into that restaurant without my mask on, okay? That's the rules, that's the policy. Must wear a mask or you are not accepted must wear a mask or you will not be allowed in. So here I am walking into the restaurant with my mask on and I look around and everybody who's sitting down and eating isn't wearing a mask. Gotta have it to walk in the restaurant, but as soon as you sit your ass down, you take that fucking mask off. You don't need that shit. After all, how can you eat with a mask on, right? So, makes you wonder. I mean, I like science and I believe in science, but I don't think there's any science behind that. And I'm just curious, what's the point of being forced to wear a mask when you walk into a restaurant if you are then allowed to take it off as soon as you sit down and start eating and drinking and talking with your friends. So, if someone said, well, 
it's better than nothing because you know maybe you'll walk into a restaurant and you'll cough and spread the germs so if you're wearing your mask at that point at least you prevented the, that opportunity from occurring okay if that's the rationale then that's cool just tell me that but there's not a whole lot of rationale being explained in anything so, we're kind of confused. Tell me why. When somebody tells you to do something, you say, tell me why. So when they say, you must wear that mask to walk into the restaurant. Okay, I say, tell, tell me why. And if they say, oh, to protect everyone around you, and, you know, from the coronavirus. Okay, makes sense. Sure, masks save lives, right? That's what we've been told. Um, but then I say, well, tell me why all these people around me that have been here for 30 minutes haven't had their mask on since they sat down. And now they're eating and they're talking and here I am wearing my mask while they are not. Tell me why. Well, you can't eat with a mask on. No, you cannot. Is there less of a chance that those people sitting down and talking and laughing and drinking, even alcohol, where their voices are getting loud and saliva particles are flying, flying and floating out of their mouth as they're eating and talking? So doesn't it seem that there's much more of a chance you're gonna spread coronavirus by sitting down and laughing and talking and drinking and spreading your saliva particles in the air. Right, I mean, to me, I go, yeah, that seems like if you're gonna get coronavirus in a restaurant, you have as good or better of a chance of catching it or spreading it from the people who are sitting down, eating, talking, laughing, shouting, screaming, spitting, spittling, than the person who walks in the door from the front door to his table, that person is likely not gonna be doing a whole lot. But you gotta have that mask on. You gotta wear that mask. Oh, once you're down, yeah, take it off. Take that fucking mask off. You don't need it. But don't step into the restaurant without that mask. And then they say, well, we want to protect people, so we're going to let them eat outside. Okay. Well, outside it's windy. Outside, your spittle particles can get caught on the wind and travel a lot further. So that has me going, hmm, all right. And then, and then pay for sale. That's pretty around here. I don't know, man. I think the truth is, and no one's just come out and say it, is look, we can't just have every restaurant in the country go out of business. So we have to do something, okay? So if I say, yes, you can open up, but you have to sit outside and you have to wear a mask when you walk into the restaurant. At least we're doing something. Something beats nothing. All right? But if that something is absolutely futile and it's useless and it's just a sham, well, then it's just a sham. And I think, I think people are tired of shams. I think people are tired of bullshit. So a lot of that kind of stinks of bullshit.
That's my two cents. GoPro, stop recording. Strike you down!